This is HipHop.com Presents, Breaking Records Live Podcast. Sir, how you feeling? Oh uh, man, I'm great, man. I'm breathing. I'm above the can't, ground, can't, you know. Can't can't complain. Not at all. Not when you got the shit we got going on. Oh uh, man, tell me about it, tell me. <laughs> you tell tripping. me about it, man. It's a good, it's a good day. Good oh, day to be alive. You feel me? Yes, sir. And send on the building too. Also appreciate y'all sure, coming through sure. tonight, man. For sure. Got some heavy, we got some heavyweighters. Yeah, I mean, sliding through. You dig? So look, now, what man. You, what you was about to say, though? I was about to say, y'all know it's Mon- uh, Wednesday. Every oh. every every week we bring up three artist spotlights. You feel me? Our oh. artist spotlight of the night is, I guess, you know, what I'm saying she gets that Wednesday highlight, and you know we hit you with a teaser before we bring the guests up. A you feel me? Before the pleasers. So, yeah, we we hit you with a teaser before the pleasers. Ooh, and, oh. and, 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 and you already know the BRL uh, slogan is. It's free to listen, but you got to pay attention. You heard me. Yes, sir. And, 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 and what Onk say, if you change your mentality, you can change your reality. Woo! You <laughs> but with that said, man, we finna That's jump into bad. our artist spotlight, man. Y'all let us know what you think. Drop them comments. And right after that, we finna bring her up. You heard me. Come on, man. We need y'all to give it God up. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. Boo coo in the motherfucking building. Without a doubt. God damn. Hi, guys. <laughs> What's what up, up, what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> hey. Boo coo. It's me. It's Bookie Baby. <laughs> Bookie yes, Baby. Yes, 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 it is, it is. What's, What's good? Up? How are you? I'm so good. How are y'all doing tonight? Uh, we great, oh, man. We Especially that out, we see you. We hanging out with the boss. Yes, hanging yes, out. Yes. You want you gonna yes. tell us what to do tonight? Yes. We hanging out with the we hanging out with the big the biggest. The, you feel me? Put a biggest. put a big B on that boo. You heard me? Yeah, the biggest one from New Orleans, and she's right in front of you. Oh man! Oh, yeah. no, no, hey, oh, there can only be one. Oh, I guess we guessed right. She from the N O. The N O. Yes, you already know. Right, right. Love the energy. Love your energy. Fucking love y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. That's what's about up, man. Shout out to New Orleans. Shout out to the boot. You feel me? Baton Rouge, the Louisiana, boot. all them places down there. You feel me? So we're gonna start this show on bring her up the right way. Without a doubt, you know, we it's a must, you know what I'm saying? So listen, this is what we want you to do. Tell them your name, where you're from, and what it is that you do. Yeah, okay. So my name is Buku. I'm from New Orleans and Mm -hmm. I am a singer and producer, rapper, Mm. visual artist, Mm. all of it. Mm. I do a lot. Never too much, but I do do a lot. I like that. Mm. I like that. She said, I don't never (laughs) heard never too much, but I do a lot. (laughs) Listen, I've been watching you. I, I, I swear I was on your page the whole day. You are very fucking interesting. Okay. Yeah. You are and you need- very, very, very interesting. Oh my goodness! What did you find? <laughs> uh, over I think the- we found the one. Listen, <laughs> uh, over the top, thorough, confident, boss ass lady. <laughs> mm. And I ain't just saying this shit because you right here in front of me because I ain't scared. Heard. You got it. Yes. You got it. You yeah. got it. Oh All the way around the fucking board. You got it. She's you got a the star. Look, the charisma, right? <laughs> the character, the skill set, and you love this shit. I really you love, do. You really, I really love, love what it. you do. I'm obsessed with it. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's the perfect word to use. Yeah, because I, I, yo, superstar status. You have to be. They gonna find the fuck out tonight how how live of a wire you is. Don't get electrocuted. Yeah, we we ain't talking about karma electric, motherfucker. We talking about buku. Look, I'm gonna get. I'm getting in my New Orleans bag. You heard me. Come on, man. You heard me. We we, we going. We going. (laughs) We 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 finna go down, man. I'm finna go get me a bit. Matter of fact, I need a po' boy and a beignet tonight when we get off the show. I'm in my New Orleans bag. You heard me. I Let's almost got a catfish po' boy for lunch today. Oh my god! Stop it, Cajun style. Ooh. I put that up in the hot sauce. I put the ah. in the ketchup. Look, and then look, I might throw. I fries. might throw some coleslaw on top of that bit. You hear me? I don't know about all that, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck with none of that. <laughs> look, 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 look. He going he gonna second you too, man. God, yeah, damn. Hey, listen. I'm rocking with the boss. I told you she's gonna tell us what to do tonight. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. This her show. Mm-hmm. This her show. We giving her the dance floor. We'll set you know it off. Oh, set it off. Set well, it listen, off. first thing I want to ask you is how long have you been doing this thing called being a superstar? How long have you been doing this? Um, I started making music two years ago. That's it? Yes. And I okay. started making music by making beats. So like I went that route first. So I was a producer in order to become a music artist because I didn't know any producers and I couldn't afford studio time. So I was like, I'm gonna figure this shit out. Downloaded mm-hmm. some software and made it happen. So all these tracks yeah, that yeah. we hearing, you producing them? I okay. So the one that y'all just played, nine times nine times nine, I did not produce. Um, my engineer was Track Burner, but on my project that I dropped in October, which I thought was really cute, because like. Y'all right. started in October. I dropped my first project in October last year. Right. right. And uh, out of she's doing her year. homework. Wait, say it again. You're doing your homework. Really? I I was just listening. I mean, I do listen. Um, <laughs> but since uh, out of those 11 tracks, I produced nine of them. So only two were made by, by other people because you know, that's great. But I you love keep, it. I really do. You're keeping a lot of money. Yes, I heard. I was like, I didn't, I mean, I did study music business before I decided to really commit to it because I was doing fitness. Mm-hmm. I was a personal trainer and I was a fitness influencer. I need like, to get in shape too. Doing my yeah. own little thing. Like, but she I had the Buku Fits. Buku mm-hmm. Fit. That's what it's because I'm Buku Fit. You know, then mm-hmm. I was doing that, but I wasn't yeah. able to express myself creatively. Yeah. So, and I, I know it felt like, oh, something was just holding you back. I mean, it's like, it's cool. I do the fitness. I got the exposure. I got the following. But uh-uh, I do this music shit. I need I need to express myself. It's like being a jack-in-the-box ready to explode out of that motherfucker. I feel you. Hey, listen. Feel you. One thing for sure, two things for certain. You can't tell you only been in it for two years. And that's yeah, a great definitely. thing. That's, that's a great thing. You know what I mean? Because it takes people sometimes their whole career to get just that sound. They sound correct, you know what I mean. Not alone performances and things of that nature. Yeah, you know I mean, like you, you just a natural with it. Like that's crazy. You, you ever did dance? Yeah. So I, I call those like trans, transferable, transferable skills. Yeah, right, transferable right. skills. Yeah. Um, I did my first like place on stage was pageants when I was like two years old. My mom put me in pageants and mm-hmm. like on the hip, winning them, taking crowns home. Did yeah. that for a while. And then she put me in like dance classes. Um, I didn't start singing until I was in the fifth grade, for real, for real. I would always like play superstar for my family. <laughs> like, okay, right. I'm gonna right. write the song and like block right. the television because that's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody <laughs> looking at that shit. You say, I wanna be on there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, look at me, look at me. That's right, that's right. right. That's right. right. So I've always like had that, that shit up now. <laughs> 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 that up, that was <laughs> Now that I make my own music, I really feel like I can fully like embody everything that I am and everything that I want other people to feel like. You talked about my sound, and on purpose, I try to use like crazy synth sounds. Like I try to like, I like distortion. I like darker tones in my actual like the music composition. Yeah, but I like my words to be uplifting or funny or tell a good story 
Um, I try not to just talk out my neck. I try to provide an experience because the whole goal is to do it on stage in front of everybody. Damn, that's yeah. So that's yeah. how I like attack my music. I, I automatically like, answer this. What's the lighting going to look like? And uh, <laughs> that's how so, I just approach so, it like that. I feel like. So before we do get into the music, um, born and raised in New Orleans? Yes, from the West Bank. Born and raised in the New Orleans, you, I swear you look like a Los Angeles girl or, or you know, uh, yeah. not the categorize you or anything, but you look like you're from the West Coast, like your whole swag vibe, yeah. you feel me? But New That's Orleans you. from the West Coast. I because I'm nervous. <laughs> you, get, nah, nah. You, get, you get like that when you're nervous. <laughs> you ain't got shit to be so, nervous over here. <laughs> so growing up in New Orleans on the West Bank... <laughs> How was life? How was life for you over there? You feel me? How was how was the world in your eyes? What was reality for you? So uh, that's really like where my like story starts. Um, in middle school, my father committed suicide wow, wow. with helium. With wow. helium, crazy, right? Insane. So like that's on me. I was twelve years old. I'm the oldest of five kids. Mm. Um, all of us are for the the same daddy. Mm. Um, my dad was white. My mom's black from New Orleans, dark skin. She called herself mahogany. And like, <laughs> and I was like, my re my reaction because I'm 12 and I really didn't know what to do, do about this. I was kind of confused. Right. right, right. Was to like my automatic reaction, like I'm gonna step up. My mom needs help. This is my family. Um, and uh, in order to really process what was missing or what happened, I just dove into the arts. And like in New Orleans, they have so many amazing arts programs in their, my, that was middle school, I was in the sixth grade. And so I, I tested into these like talented art, like right. visual arts, I'd learned how to draw. Um, I did acting, I did the music eventually. I don't know why music was the last thing. That is so mm -hmm. crazy. I feel like I was avoiding music my whole life, but when it calls you, you can never escape. Oh, tell never. me about it. That is tell so true. It. As That's fast so as true. you run away from it, it's always gonna call you back. Yeah. And, and just speaking when it calls you, when it, when speaking when it calls you to speak to speak for the world, you know, it, it ain't even about just doing music, just being in music. Because you got some people, who producers, you know, like you said. And that's a calling for them to just be in the music industry. You know, for us, we run a website and have a platform for artists. That shit called us just to be around music. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you on that. When it calls you, you got to answer the phone. Got to answer. Ain't no ducking that. You know what I mean? It's going to chase you anywhere you go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure, so listen, sure. so, so, so the transition led you up to where you at right now. Yeah. First album. First album. I dropped my first project. I, that's my first album last year independently. So a lot of it was me in my apartment on my laptop, cooking it up, not really okay. having the right equipment, but having right. a car, you know, and just doing is a that, lot of car tests. Is, is, <laughs> listen, is that this album right here that we pulling these songs off of? Yes. Wow. Deeper, the album Deeper, yes. That's so you did, the, you did the majority of your recording too as well? Yes, off my own. And mind. You're mixing yeah. and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's just oh, uh, wow. that's just up. So, so um, speaking monster. speaking on albums, you feel me? Wow. How do we pronounce this? Buki. Oh, Buki. <laughs> <Buki. laughs> that's my Buki. Buki. Okay. I like Buki. Okay, Buki. Buki. <laughs> that's that's what's up. Buki. Buki. That's Buki, nice. Yes. Man. That I go. You can call me Buki. Yeah. You can call so, me Buki, Buki baby. Right. Cool. So speak yeah. on Buki for a That's little bit Buki. before we play the music video to Buki. Oh my god! And make sure y'all scan them QR codes, y'all. It's gonna take y'all straight to our Spotify. Run the screens up, yeah. Because a lot of people is asking what's her IG, Dirt Life in the building. Yeah, we got an IG I'm right here up bro. on the screen at the bottom left hand side. That's our IG. But speak on Buki for us real quick, Buku. Oh my goodness! So I produced the whole thing. Um, that's a trolley. Hold on, hold on for one second. <laughs> I'm in downtown North. <laughs> it's Buki. Yeah, I said Buki. I'm from no. The you said speak on Buki Buku. No, listen, Buki. Yeah, like, that's, my Buki. Buki. that's my Buki. That's my Buki bus. So, 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 so speak on Buki Buku. Buki. 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 Buki.
<laughs> I like that though. I like that. It's yeah, unique as hell. Yeah, so hood, so nigga, what, what does hood. Buki my, what does Buki nigga, come kill you from? about my Buki nigga? Before we get into the music video, where do Buki come from and what was the concept of this? Okay, so like my entry into the music scene was through underground raves, like just parties outside on street corners with big old speakers and a lot of people just willing to listen to music while they do whatever they want to do. Right. Um, and so like sonically, I was heavily inspired by uh, Kanye West and Playboy Cardi, Ken Carson, all okay. that, right? Also like Andre 3000. Um, I love Jersey club music. I love making people dance. Um, I love 808s. I love a good juicy sub, right? Ooh. I'm obsessed with speakers. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I've, I've actually like received a lot of like unnecessary criticism from other producers in the community that I was making music in. Um, and uh, they just kept trying to, they kept trying to devalidate my ability because of mm. how new I was. Cause like, oh, I've been doing this for X, Y, Z. I don't know who she thinks, she, which is so weird. Like looking back on it, it's so stupid, but mm -hmm. I kind of like channeled all of that into that record. Um, so uh, this is literally, this happened uh, like three months ago. My whole life changed whenever I committed myself to like getting signed to a record label. Like I let go of everything, lost relationships, lost my car. Wow. Like, I'm like lost everything. I lost wow. everything. Wow. Ah, wow. It's like one of those crazy <laughs> artist stories where like, oh, you're going to have to give it all up. I right. was like, okay, well, I guess that's me. I, I can handle it. I'm built for it. We're going to keep pushing. Right, right. 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 And right. I'm in the Airbnb. Like on my laptop, can't sleep, worried, stressed, hoping that everything's gonna work out in between deals, contracts, lawyers, all this stuff, it's all new to me. Cause like, right. I'm, I, you know what I mean? Right. And uh, this, this just like that melody that, oh, nah, please enjoy. Now I know who I get to be. Woo! <laughs> I believe. Is my special like literally just like pouring myself out into it? Yeah. Um, and in the music video, you actually like my story, my dad passing, um, in the Rolls Royce. Our speech, condolences like, to that too, to your family. And then and your it's family. complete. I, I I'm not too like shy to talk about it because right. it's so that's your story. It's a part that's of your story. story. Yeah. And it's like real. And I think it's just like if I can do it, literally anybody can. Because I could have, I could have, I could have gone the same route. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. Yeah. When life gets hard, you know, like it gets hard. You no, know, I have to stay in it. Yeah. And some music called hard. me, and I was like, "This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what's going to keep me here." And that's honestly the reason why I started doing the music two years ago, because I just wasn't feeling like I was in alignment with who I'm supposed to be. Right. Wow. It's amazing, though. Look, we well, right now. just by taking on a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a life challenge. Just taking on a challenge, saying, "You look, I'm gonna step up. I'm not stepping down. I'm gonna be brave, and I'm gonna win." Yes, you know what I mean. And saying it with your chest, like yeah. and, and knowing yeah. it, and, if, and mean it, and, and, and working hard enough to where you really believe it. Because it's right. one thing to just fake it till you make it, but it's another yeah. thing to work for it and earn it. Just earn it, and that's how I go. That's how, like, if I'm Clap not that up, good man. enough, Clap that up, it, man. Strong, I'll strong woman, man. <laughs> Clap that up. Well, with Lucha, that said, Lucha, please yeah. present your world premiere on the Breaking Records Live podcast. Bookie, please. I'm introducing it. Yes, you are. That's your show. You just say <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you, you guys. Just um, now introducing <laughs> for the first time. Uh-huh. A world breaking uh -huh. record right here, right now. All right, right. Yeah, right, here, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Buki by the, the, the one and only yeah. Buku. Motherfucker, man. Oh my Damn. god! Damn, is the air on in this motherfucker? Hey, I'm that's how you, that's how you world premiere a motherfucking video. You feel me? Crazy. That and was like, dope. I was filmed in the West Bank. We passed up my dad's grave site, like where he passed. Like I put it all in there. So like that's the city. That's 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 where I'm from. I put it all in there. It's so beautiful. We put the Rolls Royce in front of the store. With the Rolls Royce, <laughs> big body. <laughs> listen, big body. Put a big B in front of Colin. You heard me? <laughs> Got the Colin. It was so ball. cool. It was so cool. We saw like the New Orleans Bridge in the clips. Like it's just it's art. That's what's up. So let's get back into your story, man. Who? Oh, we turn up even more. <laughs> the treatment for that. 
Who wrote that? Who wrote that? I think it was very collaborative. I work with Lex Kane Records. Okay. Um, she's the one that found me and introduced me to this whole thing. She found me Shout out of the Lex Can. Shout Lex out to Lex Can. Shout out to Lex Can. They Shout out to Lex. Lex. Lex listen, Can. Listen, one thing about Lex, Lex is on her business. See, we deal with a lot of artists. We told you at the beginning of the yeah. show, we deal with 200 something artists. And we deal with different managers, agencies, um, you know, PRs. Lex on her shit. She's for you. You know, yes. and I can say that she's for you. She was on her shit. She texted, she called, made she sure made that, sure yeah. that yes. this happened. You yeah. feel Lex me? And she did. She really did. And oh, shout out to Fee Banks. Look, it's shout out to Fee. Shout out to Fee Banks. You feel me? Because Fee Banks put you on our radar. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fee Banks, Fee Banks yeah. put you on our radar. So shout Go out to Go check Fee. her out. And if y'all don't know who we talk about, we talk about the world renowned Fee. You feel me? Shout out yeah. Fee. You heard Lil Wayne say that. Shout out Fee. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to yeah. Feed, man, for yeah. sure. Definitely. What a blessing. So, so, no, so, sure. so, name came about. Yes, let's get into this name. No, how we get the name on before the name came about? How did we That's get Buku? How we get uh, it? That's why I'm asking. <laughs> you got it. I mean, yeah, I, I just, I just bring a lot to what I want to do. I have like a big personality. I feel like. I'm, I'm, it's just a lot, a lot, but never too much. I said it earlier, like, I'm just, I'm never too much, but definitely a lot. And buku means a lot. It's French for yeah, a lot. Yeah. And yeah. it's like very common to say buku in New Orleans. It's like just part of the vernacular. Like, they got buku people up in here. Damn. So like it's just part of the, it's part of the culture. And I was like, me. That's <laughs> I'm me buku. Fine. I'm buku. I was like, oh, it'll be spooky. I'm a little spooky. We'll do B O O. Gotta do yeah. the new O O. Shout yeah. out Black Mob. Like I just, it's just like it's just, uh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, that, that, that's it's hard. Fun. Say, People end up saying, "Give me a kissy face." After they say my name, they go buku. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's hard. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Can we use that? We do use that. That is a slang. Buku. Yeah. Across, Ooh, she the, got, across she the world. Got buku money. You feel yeah. me? Buku. So yeah. that is so unique. That is so fire. Got buku and, ass. And buku was the original artist name from two years ago <laughs> when you said, I'm gonna do this mu music shit. Yes, buku. immediately. I was like, it's buku. Like, Damn, I always loved man. that name. Like, I was like, oh, if I like ever did something crazy, I'd be called buku. Yeah. I'm grateful it was music artists. Nah, that's yeah. what's up. Like, that's good. <laughs> nah, listen, you got it. Like, you should and, see and, the comments. And, the comments is crazy. Man. Oh, yeah, comments going got crazy. a whole gang yeah. of fucking art, uh, hearts. You got fire emojis running off this and, motherfucker and, like and, earlier fire. And we specialize in brand and marketing, so using that name is definitely something that's uh, memorable. Like, Baby. once a person know that you're buku, the next time they say it or hear it, it's no way they not think about you. Like exactly. the next time I say it, if I be like, "Well, that boy got buku money," I'm gonna think about you. About you, you going to? That's or like, oh yeah, yeah, she got buku ass. I'm gonna think about buku. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck donkey. Yeah. We ain't yeah. using donkey. Yeah. We ain't doing. We ain't doing donkey no more. Yeah, you know no. I mean, she got nah. a, that ass buku. Ooh, damn Listen, right. The BRL about to go buku. Yeah. You heard me. They said buku already. They fool for, sure, for, sure. for not so, being buku. So before <laughs> we get into this next track, um, who inspired you? Mm. In life. Mm. In mm. life. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I think uh, my family definitely inspires me. Um. Cause I, I like, I'm the oldest of five. They definitely see me doing what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, we don't talk often, but when we do, I'm just like, y'all, y'all really come from, we've been really the greatest family of all time. Like I'm really studying right, y'all right, right. who y'all are. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like they're all very right. much younger than me too. And I'm just like, nobody can tell you anything. You know what I mean? And I feel like me, uh, committing to it and like really saying like, no, like I'm, I'm just, I have to do music. Like it's not just me trying to do it because I see X Y Z X Y Z doing it. It's like from the ground up, this is what I'm supposed to do. I want them to feel like they're able to commit to something that they know they're good at. Right. You know I mean, like if, if if it's all saying go in this direction, don't ignore it. Right. I love being that. That inspires me to like go even harder, be more authentic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. So so let amazing me ask answer, you. Amazing answer. 
you pour through you pour through some rubble stuff you had to get like a rubble you know what i'm saying you pour through it you know what i mean you still here you you know you set in the pace you know what i mean what is next for you what's the next challenge right there's music or outside of music which you see yourself gravitating towards nowadays that you got all the skill sets and everything where do you see yourself what's up talk to us what's going on where you going where i am going? A, think all i'm just i want to be on stage i'm ready to perform i'm ready to learn about the production aspect of showcasing the music that i work so hard on mm -hmm. um so like athleticism like i'm back in the gym i didn't realize how much i'm a girl y'all oh my <laughs> god <laughs> i'm a girl so it's so much investment i mean like literally statistically like if you look at the chart like female artists cost more. right 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 luckily i know how to do all of my own stuff so i save a lot of my own money because i yeah. do my own makeup i do my own hair like i style myself I, I I be thrifting or whatever, like yeah, but like thrifting. Let's go. Yes, yes. 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 have to listen, finish thrifting. You listen, already listen. It. It's hey, hard. Thrifting. it looks good. Listen, thrifting, thrifting is, is is the shit if you know how to do it right. And reselling, you feel yeah. me? So shout out to thrifting. You already know. You stay one of a kind in yes. my mind. You know yes, what I mean? Definitely. I be thrifting and then I go to Zoomies. That's like the two places I live in. I love Zoomies. That's like the yeah. two spots. That's where I get my vans from. I got, I got this hat from Zoomies, and that's where I get my vans from. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. this shirt from Zoomies. I got it. What's so? What y'all saying? I, I'm, I'm, I'm the fuck falling. I'm, I'm listen, late. Listen, I'm running listen. late. You stay at Aeropostale or uh, you know American Eagle where you at? You feel me with your polo? We we thrifters over here. All right. Thrifters. <laughs> I go to Zoomies and then I go to Hot Topic and it's like literally like my. I love them all still, that's but true. um, uh, my next challenge literally is like athleticism because like okay, I I sing. Right. And their dance songs. Oh, mm -hmm. what a fun challenge. Now I'm going to have to do the Beyonce one, two step on a treadmill while I'm singing with my arms above my head. That's where I'm at. And it is mm -hmm. hard and it is painful. And having to dedicate yourself to like protein shakes and making sure you're eating your vegetables. Like the worst thing that I do now is just smoke my herbs. Um, uh, and like I really had to cut out all of the other bad habits. Like. I only drink when I'm on stage. Usually, like I'm gonna take a little shot so we can just get ready. Like I, but it's it's worth it. I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm learning a lot about what it really takes to be a, a skilled live performer. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Heard that. So, get into this next track. What does braid my hair means to you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what does braid my hair mean to you so braid my hair oh my god braid your hair um i wrote it about if somebody was to go and do the acts on me and they have really long hair mm-hmm I might as well just start giving you braids. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let me give you a little do. Let me give you a little. <laughs> you know, like, uh, so that's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. That's, that's what's what it's up. about. I produced the beat and I mm. recorded the vocals. Like, this is one of like the, the, the songs that I made, like, in my apartment. Like, this is a banger. Mm. Like, this can, like, this is hard. And like, that was my first time being like, wait, I'd bump this and like, uh, and when other people listen to it, they go like, what is that? Who is that? I'm like, oh my God, it's me. Like that first experience of like people enjoying the sound that you made like in your privacy and like my introversion and being like, I need that. Is it on Spotify yet? Mm -hmm. That was one of the first songs that I performed at like the raves. And mm -hmm. they were like, this is really good. And I finally got it like engineered so it can sound beautiful like to its fullest potential what i couldn't accomplish whenever i first created it mm -hmm. um and uh if you look at the cover i did my own hair because i was just about to ask you <laughs> so who braid i was just about to say so who braided it to your hair <laughs> yeah! okay, i had to right. i had to do the mirror trick you know i'm, I'm <laughs> trying to figure it out i'm doing uh -huh. it all by myself um, so I braided the hair and then you can see the bikini is also made out of braiding hair, which I also made. 
Damn. out of this brazen hot glue and I was in the ocean. Oh my God. That's it was beautiful fire. though. I've even put the little beads on it. You can see it in the back on my hip. I put mm -hmm. the beads on the braided hair. That's fire. That's, fire. That's, fire. That's, fire. That's crazy. That's, fire. That's crazy. You doing your fizzle. Yeah, so, so look, like the dime process and then like trial and error so that we can make it happen. And it <laughs> came out beautiful. Shout out to Reno for capturing that. It looks gorgeous. So look, y'all, you already know Buku in the building. We about to play our next track, Braid My Hair. Y'all let us know what y'all thinking. Mm. BRL, baby. Let's get it. I'm ready to go get a uh, a hair piece put in my head so I get my fucking hair braided. <laughs> we can, we can make that, that happen. That, I'm not a hair I'm, piece. I'm about not to get a hair piece. piece. Listen, let me tell you something. Fuck them braids. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Part just now, guess what? Part <laughs> nah, guess what? They say waves for the babes, curls for the girls, and ball Ooh, get them all. Let's go! Ball get like, them all. Yeah. Listen, fuck you talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But listen, Bray, listen, braid your braid your hair it. was so vibrant. Yeah, that was so vibrant. It's definitely, it's definitely. And oh man, you just saw him versatile. You saw him range because we just played. You feel me, Buki, which you was going nuts way on. that way. And then braid your hair was just like, going hold, back on, that way. hold on, let me let me sing to you real quick, Mario. Come here, let me braid your hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. sit between my legs. Dang. Let me braid your hair. Let me let me All right. what you want. You want box braids? Not this. Like, you what you need? like and, and make sure right. you drop the cash out before I start. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much you charge? How much you charge you to braid somebody hair? Because this is boo cool to talk about. <laughs> What you they sit between price? the legs of Buku, so right. we need to know how much. Yeah, they much, they wig, get the, but... listen. They get the, the chance to smell the Chanel Five. What is you charging these people? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, God. God. Uh, my hit <laughs> in there. oh my god! My fucker fall straight to sleep. Oh my god! Fuck that was I mean, you're right though. Like, nigga, nigga end no, up with a you heard, sideways. You heard yeah, Chanel you, number five. You heard, yeah, you feel me? That you is fuck why you, customers. You listen, you fuck around Sanitized. and end up. You fuck around and end. You sit between our legs and fuck around and end up with a slanted broom. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck off, like yeah, man. I'm about to fall asleep in this month. <laughs> Let me go get me a po boy, man. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> there is an ocean hey, track. Behind that song too, to like really help you relax. I love like, I I was a. This is so funny. I used to, um, be a yoga teacher. Okay. And so doing like a whole sound, lot. Doing a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> but like sound is super important to your well being. Mm -hmm. So it's that like, be. how can I like ele that like it, it's very high vibrational, like literally because like there's ocean sounds in it. There's like a part of nature, and and we yeah. don't get that a lot in our music. Right. And you hear it at the end of the track, it's just ocean waves and it's playing the whole time. Mm. Crazy. So you just, okay. for some reason, you just feel like, ooh, I feel good. And that's a little, and I, mm. I reveal it at the end. Pro so, yeah. Producer. Yeah. yeah. You again? You, you again? Oh, yeah. She said she did that whole track. No, I did that one. Yes. I produced that one. Yes. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. And we call that ambiance sounds, you know, just hearing yeah. that background noise, you feel me? Just like an ad lib. It's, it's ambiance, you know? <laughs> it's, it's the same thing as lighting a candle and just, you know, turning on your TV on wave sounds, you feel me? I, I, I'm just telling y'all some player shit. Sorry, everybody. Right? Take notes, you feel me? Light a candle. <laughs> no, they should. Throw, it really matters. <laughs> Don't make sure the, make sure the water ain't scorching hot. You get a motherfucking yeah. lighter candle. Yeah. Throw a flame in that motherfucker. Drop, drop, <laughs> drop a, her ass. Listen, drop a bath bomb in there. You feel me? Make sure your pH exactly. balance up there. You heard me? Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just you know saying. what I'm saying? Some motherfucking. <laughs> don't put no Epsom salt in that shit. Put some oh, yeah, no shit Epsom in salt. there. You know what so, I'm saying? Get you some mint. So get before you some we go, mint. Before we go into this last yeah, track, man. let's ask, let's let's dig a little a little deep back into your past. Okay. What was life for Buku, and what is Buku real name, and how was she in school? Was she the popular girl? You know, like was you mm. always that girl? Oh my god! Uh, uh, uh. So like, 
like yes i was always <laughs> that girl like she yes. did beauty pageants man yeah i mean like, yes. you heard her tell her story <laughs> i did have like an ugly duckling moment in high school yeah that didn't prevent me from succeeding where i thought it mattered uh -huh. like i was kind of introverted okay. i was dealing with a lot at home during high school um so like i even i just became even more introverted and that's when i really got into like drawing like i was mm. going to be artistic like at the like senior super relatives damn I was most artistic they voted me that i was homecoming queen and i was really introverted it was hold like, on man hold on we not gonna just fly past that like this shit wasn't you know what i mean like, like, like these are something. these are accolades these are trophies my these resume are, my resume these, yes, <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you these are achievements accomplishments do i need <laughs> any more words <laughs> hold on yeah. like you, you was the queen so yeah. like but I was really low key. I like I was just really nice to everybody. I, I I knew what it was like to go through things since I like dealt with that at twelve. So I was just onk, like, onk. she really, was low like, key, but she was the queen. She was yeah. low key, but she was the queen. Onk. Yeah, I was yeah. really nice to be. It just it's all about relationships. New Orleans will teach you that. Like it's all about like being kind to your neighbor. You never know when right. you but, have but that, but, but, running water. You know what I mean? That so, says a lot. That says a lot. And this was high school. You won queen, right? Yes. Okay, so come and this was what 12th grade yes okay so come 12th grade we got all the people on the ballot they come to you and say buku we want you to run for queen or they already put you in the nomination i decided i was like i'm running Damn. <laughs> wait 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 that's some bold like, but, she, but she low-key oh she yeah. low-key oh. See, but she's like, like, I, I, needed, I needed to do it. Yes. Confident. Yes. Confident as hell. Because I went to a new high school. I went to a different middle school than them. I, 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 I like tested into a magnet high school. So it was a bunch of smart kids. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I was like, I was bright, but like they're getting like super high grades. And I'm like, I'm happy that I don't have to be at home getting yelled at today. Right, right. You know what right, I mean? Right. Like, that's how it was. So yeah, I like got loved real school. Shit. You got real I was a shit straight going A student. On. I loved learning. I wow. still love learning to this day. Right. Um, like I have my degree in marketing. I, like I went to college. I graduated. Like I, I love education. I really do. I wish I could go back to school. But now that I'm in the music world, I'm learning That's just school. so much. Every it's a very, day. very challenging for you, ain't it? It's it's it's, it's it's hard because it's all these languages. Right. It's not just like the producer language and engineering and all that either. It's like, oh, you're going to work with a graphic designer this week. Oh, you you, you need to make a, a a treatment for X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? Like that's that's always a challenge. Something that's vocabulary to to. that you got to like learn and study if you want to get things done quickly and get exactly what you need if you care about your art. You know what I mean? So what was yeah. some of the names that they called you that you said that you had to grow into? Parts of who you were, or so whatever the case may be. Holly Berry, you know they call that Holly Berry. No, they. Oh didn't. my God, no! I really <laughs> didn't. They call you. They call well, okay, my real name. My real name's Kristen. Okay. Kristen, Kristen Ladon. Big C. Yeah. Yeah. Kristen yeah. what? Kristen. Kristen Ladon. My middle name's Ladon. L A capital D A W N. Okay, already Ladon. old high fashion name. Why you, you ain't using that? Yeah. Yeah. Kristen Ledoy. I'm it's sipping Ledoy. champagne. Make it <laughs> now, please. Work us down. You say, you, know pass I mean? the like, great, you say pass the great poupon. <laughs> no hors d'oeuvres today. Sorry. Right. <laughs> right. I am done. The bullshit. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. So, so go ahead. Go ahead, Neff. We choose Ray Axa. I'm, I'm speeches right now. I done lost my train of fucking thought. I done lost my fucking train of thought. So what I will do, what I will do is that's something to because that we only got we yeah we already got so much um time left in production. We ain't gonna keep you know Buku in the building all night. Um, speaking of this track, <laughs> forgive me. Okay, speaking of this track, nine by nine by nine. You feel me? What yeah. does it mean? What's the what, symbols what, to what, this? Yes. What does nine by nine mean to you? Yeah, like what's that? Okay, so it's about my breakup that I dealt with in mm. January. Um, my ex was a, a fellow producer, and I was like, I'm gonna date a producer. I'm gonna learn everything that I can. It worked really, really well. Oh, so until you it was, felt you like was, competition. You had a you had a mission. 
I, I was learning and he was he taught me so much about music history like we was just cool and it was cute right. until it really really wasn't and it got really really nasty and it got really messy and I had to go like mm. like that and it got like I have to get out of here right um and so I decided to leave uh, and just leave everything behind and do this this was I've only been like in the industry for six months okay um uh since January of this year so congratulations with your much success and may you keep on prospering thank you and this is this really helped me enter it this is right before like everything really started to align and uh, it's so my my real name's chris 10. um a lot of people make me they try to convince me that like uh, i need them to be a 10 like without you you just a chris nine i, I got that before uh yeah. which is weird and That's so i was like, very like, weird yeah, which, which like, is outlandish. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what? Just anything to make them feel uh, obligated to me at all times. So, you know, yeah. people just because I ha I am a light, and people want to you know capture me and and just you know use me for whatever their needs are without realizing that I have my own dreams and ambitions and I can actually fucking do shit. And like I learn from you and like I, X Y Z, right? So like there was just a lot of resentment built behind this song but i'm so focused on what i'm about to do when i say she could never beat it like i do everybody's so like nasty mm. horny they're like oh is he the best I mean, it wasn't originally but i was like oh i like that interpretation that's cute that's hot like that's sexy like, yeah. that was right. but right. it was really about like she's never she could never beat the odds like me right. you know what i mean like she wow. could never do that like how i'm about to do it um, I do need another lover. I'm broken up. I was literally just like on the mic, like just talking about what I'm going through. Um, right. And then yeah. me, stop thinking about it. You love you I'm a you superstar. Love you can't stop I, me. See, that's why I called you that, because you are. <laughs> Who the you and with you and with a star? Mm. Yeah. I just no, want to no. in the car. Here you go. Da, 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 before <laughs> before like, we get right? into... <laughs> All right, wait, wait. Before I do ask you these, these next she two crazy. questions that we get to the track. Crazy. Nine by nine by nine. What <laughs> is the definition for that? Why that? Nine by nine by nine. I was like, dimes times nine times nine times nine. Like, I'm with the bad bitches. Right. Like, I'm with the dimes. Times nine. Mm. Nine, 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 nine. Mm. <laughs> Okay, um, okay. Okay, okay, that, that's okay. Really what it's about, and the people are taking it in all types of interpretations, and I think it's really hard. All that pity pat going to turn into <laughs> a war, that's drama. That can have like it's it's so broad. I'm so happy so many people can relate to it in so many different ways, just depending on which lyric you want to focus on. Um but yeah, it's 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 really just Times, times, nine, times, nine. Right. I like to like pretend yeah, like I got like two on me. That's and right. Nine, times, nine, nine. Yeah, yeah <laughs> times this shit by nine. Times that by nine. Keep times in this shit. That's so look, up. we that's, try that's to get fly. to the track, and then we go get you. We go get you up out of here because we go hold you out all night. But as you know, breaking records live, man. Buku. Yeah. God damn, yeah. Buku. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Seriously. Right. Ate it up, ate it yeah. up, ate yes, it up, ate it up, ate it up, ate it up. Hey, look, before yeah. we yes, get you did. up out of here, man, yes, let me just say did. this. Let me just say this. God damn. Take my glasses off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we bring artists on this show to paint their narrative, you feel me? And like I always tell artists who come on here, you know, we can only assume when we go to their pages what we think of a person, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And not once on here, you gave me any conceited or, you know, entitlement or just expressing that you're a bad bitch, which we all know. So I can respect that, you feel me? Because it's clear as day. You find the shit, you feel me? But you don't come off like that. And your talent speaks heavily over your beauty. The beauty part is just a plus. That was, we know, that's like clickbait. That would bring the people in, you feel me? Even when you was doing Buku Fit, you feel me? It was cool. You, you were showing, you know, your fitness and showing your body, but something in you was like, I got more to me than this. And 
I just want to say we could appreciate that. I'm glad you came on here to paint your narrative, to let people inside your mind and people see you in a different light. I know the fans and the audience and the BR Livers who will watch this show after this, you know, not to take your beauty away, but your talent just overshadows that. They is going to go to your music and listen to it with a different ear than mm -hmm. saying, let me go listen to her music because she fine. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's because you're a star. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And if they nah, choose to go to listen to you, if that's what's going to drag cool. their asses over there, they get hit in their fucking head when they get on. Yeah. I told you you was going to love me. As <laughs> soon as they walk past that, that door. I told you you no. was going to love me. The fitness page was because I was like obese. I was like, I lost 75 pounds in a year. Yeah. Wow. And that's why I did the fitness page. And that's why I'm so talented is because like no one really cared. Right. And then I got my body in shape and I'm like, oh my God. Right. Now everybody's looking at me. Right. But I, I developed my personality and my talents without, I didn't know I looked like this. Literally. Like if you go to my fitness page, you'll see like the before and afters. Like I mm. feel like I've lived so many lives. It's incredible. Mm. Like. I'm just really grateful to be here with y'all doing what I love. Thank you for even being here. We, we appreciate you, you man. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? With so that listen. said, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you got go it. Ahead. Uh -uh. Nope. You got go it, ahead. baby. Nope. I, all right. <laughs> with oh, that's, hold on. Hold on. Let's do this back and forth shit for a while so she can stay here. So we can, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we overproduction. Yeah, that's yeah, how I know it was a great show because we overproduction. But with that said, any shout outs, any flowers you want to give anybody? Oh my gosh, my team. I was name. I was running in circles What's without my name? team. It's the team name. Uh, it's it, uh, Lex Can Records. Shout out to Juggy. Shout out to Fee. Like that. That's the 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 people that are really making sure that I'm uh, okay during this whole process because it's a lot. It it really is a lot. They're taking care of the human. You know, they're taking care of Kristen. Right. So that I can be Buhu. You know what right. I mean? Like, right, like right, it feels right, like right, that a little right, bit. Right, Even right. I'm so incredibly Clap aligned. That up. Clap that up. Nothing. That was a hell of a way of earning that. <laughs> that was a hell of a way of articulating that. That was fucking great. Yes. 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 Yeah, shout out to my and then making things like this happen, like oh my god, like I these this is my my dreams are coming true. This is a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Like I I could only like the studios that I've been in, the people that I've met, I've only been able to know them as far as a YouTube video would take me. You know what I mean? And like I'm getting to meet the legends. Right. <laughs> me? Right. Right. <laughs> Like, I just, yeah. I can't complain. Yeah. I can't complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me ask you something. That's what I want you to do. Because something that's been weighing on my spirit, you know what I mean? And it's telling me to ask you to do it. And that's if you feel comfortable with it. Okay. What I want you to do is, right, the next big thing that they have in New Orleans, right? And you, okay. I want you to scream out loud as shit in the crowd. What is telling me to tell you to do? Scream out loud in the crowd to bring their attention to you and to start fucking. Ah! We we see it one more time. <laughs> Scream out loud as you could. Don't strain your voice though. Yeah. In a crowd, let's say you, what's that? Bur uh, Bourbon Street. Yeah. Something big going on. I yeah. See, this is what it's telling me. Something big is happening. You there? You there? Festive, whatever it is that's going on, scream out loud to get the, what I, I, it ain't tell me to tell you what to say. And I see you where you're going with it. I see what scream you're out with. loud, become bigger than the crowd, and watch how the people face you. And when they turn around, like, who the fuck and, is that? And, and you start saying performing. that because that's her energy. Start performing. I see what you're yes. saying. Because start it performing. gives, because it gives, if you don't listen carefully, it gives crazy but talented. Right. You feel me? And I Let see what you're going with it. I see what you're going with Different but it, unique, and they need to know that. That is one way to grab a crowd. Scream out loud as you can in a crowd full of people. Even if it's just some. Because it's like, it's like you scream. And really yeah, it's like you scream. You're a and performer. Like, who is you this are crazy a performer. Girl? It's like, who yeah. is this crazy girl? And then it's like, they don't let like me. Like. It's like, oh, and just lose your I do that at Walmart. Like. Listen, <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know so you I mean? understand. <laughs> so you understand where I'm going at. This is what it's telling me. The spirits is telling me to tell you this, and just 
Just fucking do you. Black out. Like, I seen you black out. Let's create content. Black the fuck out. Let's create Just black content. out. All right. And just let and the music the, and, that, and that'll go viral. Just, you. just speaking on that, just speaking on that topic, you. even if we made let's say two two uh TikToks or two Instagram posts where you actually went in Walmart and just streamed and then started performing on the mic, them videos will go viral and we know what viral does. Yeah. So just keep that in mind what he's saying and don't look at it as like Nah, I'm a little no, crazy. No, you me. are crazy. No, so, you so are me. crazy. No, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're so right. Why don't we yes. film that? Because I do yes. that for free. Like, yes. let's yes. let's thank let's you. Monetize this. So you let's, right let's, there. Let's you right office. there. <laughs> and the talent gonna that overweigh the me. crazy thoughts instantly. So once you do that shit, and everybody look, and then now you on the mic. Yep. And I'm you talking singing, about listen, that day. That day, you fucking down. You feeling down? You like I I gotta do something to fuck the day to pick me up. Mm. Get dressed. Be fucking weird. Weird is fucking unique. Yeah. Hot topic weird. Hot topic weird. <laughs> yeah, and just go through your fucking act. Yeah. No music. It ain't gotta be playing. Your voice is the music. Your performance is the video that they gonna wanna push over and over, and they can't. I think I just create. I just I think I'll just created some content, man. Some viral I mean, content. That sounds like just, a tour to me. That sounds. I mean, people used to do that. People you literally remember when people used to perform at malls. Mm -hmm. And just I was like, do it in the mall. Listen, I don't care where is it at. And they tell me where to, to place you. But you're right. I can yes, do it. the internet like, will find. You know what they're going to say? Viral. Where it's is that go fucking viral. girl that keep on singing? You saying that you're going to have no, people in malls where, over where, here, yeah, shopping yeah, centers no, over here, in the streets back here, screaming. talking about that same fucking See, girl that just bust out screaming, singing, and doing her fucking thing. They're going to say, where is that girl? And when you do go viral and say millions of people and you go to different states, oh it's going to come a point after, let's say, the fifth time and it done went viral, it's going to come a point where you scream and people going to already know, oh, that's Buku. I just, like, oh, my oh, God. She's imagine, here. You here. Ima imagine you start a track off like that. Just like off my producer that same tag. Fucking like, like, scream. Yes. Yay. I, I, I cannot wait. I can't yeah, wait. Right. You're so right. Rolling loud. Here we go. And like, let's oh go. My God, Rolling loud, hang out, Coachella. I love that. Those I appreciate. I appreciate that. All. I appreciate that. <laughs> you got it. That's that's what we do over here. We brand and marketing, it. and man, that that is I going did. to go viral. I did. That's I did. gonna go viral. I'm being telling you, that's, being a great that, performer online. Like, are you serious? Like, yes. <laughs> that's what's up. And listen, and when you ready to come back and do your uh your album release show or a listening party, bring it right here. We got something for you. We okay. We're gonna let you, we're gonna let you perform live, but it has to be after September. Okay. We we'll get you. into the details with your manager. Why, if she's down yes. or he's down, yeah. you know what I mean. Yes. But I need for you to come back here after you do that because I know that shit right there. My soul don't lie to me. You're so right. I complete like it feels like I could do that tonight. Like I live in New Orleans. Like people want to be entertained. That's as much as they saying. act like they don't, the second somebody starts actually performing anywhere, everyone's I'm like, telling wow. you. That and shit like take say, me that, that, shit take, that shit take me back to when we had the big radios, the boom box. Yes. I was probably the loudest motherfucker that knew every fucking song front to back on albums from Kooji Rap, a whole shit. And I'm walking up the block loud as shit. But my boom box, thing. like I that's like, I, I walk around and play see? my music as loud as I can. See, this is my clip. Yep. It's all it's all about a, it's all about a, it's all about a performance. So even if we got one or two Dang. cameras, you know, it's all about a team. One or two Oof. cameras, you get in the middle of the crowd, wherever you at, Walmart, the cell mall, phone whatever. don't matter. They, they, they filming you, you scream, you start singing. We out of here. One minute clip, gone. Instagram, TikTok, like, yeah. viral. <laughs> Instagram, TikTok, that shit viral. Gone. I'm telling she said you. done. <laughs> yeah, listen, that shit gone. I'm telling you, it's gone. 
My oh, spirits don't that. lie to me. And nah, I nah, was hold, you called that I was one. holding that, that the whole time. That's why nah, I got quiet. That I, and it only fits for certain come. people, and it fits for her. That's her, you, you man. Call that's that that's one. her you shit. Call that. That ain't, and, and I it's, can't and, do that and the, shit. And the thing about content creating, it, it's not online. Like, I done seen a million different viral videos, but I never seen that done before. And yeah. that's why it's going to go that's viral. Her. She the She the one that got to do it. Can't nobody yeah. do that shit. But with that said, Buku, <laughs> we truly appreciate Listen, you coming over it's here and sharing doubt, man. your life. Here. You feel here. me? Telling your narrative. Get get now. People don't have to assume no more after they watch this interview. They know exactly who you are and what, what you're capable you of. You feel me? Exactly. We appreciate you, mama. Without a doubt, man. Have a great and blessed life, man. Your future is bright. It's bright as that motherfucking smile that you got. You know what I mean? Like, keep doing what you do, man. And listen, man, be buku fucking loud. Be buku fucking loud. That's all you got to do. You a performer. So you got to make the world. You got to make the world. It's your job. You have to make the world your stage. You are a performer. I can't read. Yeah, you know. Your team, Shout out to Lex Cam. Rest yes. Shout out to you, baby. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you for having me. Man. No nah, problem, it's all mama. good. You are you family, man. You always fucking back here. Right? And there you have it, Boo man. Cool. That fucking girl's amazing. Yeah, she's a super. She's amazing. Man. For sure. Super y'all make sure y'all scan them QR codes. We're going to put it up one last time. This is our radio. Uh, station on Spotify, y'all. Make sure y'all scan make the sure QR y'all code. Support. We we'll hit y'all though. with that nine do. by nine QR code. You, know you feel man? me? Hit y'all with that braid your hair QR code. You know what I'm and we'll hit you with that bookie QR code. All you, you know gotta man? do is screenshot the the um the video if you want to go to them stations or if you on social media platforms where we're live at. Click the link that's inside the comment section and take you straight over there, man. You already know. You know what I mean? Oh, take yeah, us yeah. out, man. Without a doubt, man. Don't forget, man. You know what I mean? We didn't get a chance, but follow our page, and you're going to see it's a it's going to be a pop-up stop shop for little kids. It's a fundraiser. You know what I mean? It's a virtual yeah. fundraiser for kids with football. Yeah. Definitely. You know what I mean? Hit the link in the bio in our bio. For yes, sure. you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit the link in the bio, y'all. This is for the kids, man. You know what I mean? They need help with jersey cliques and, you know, helmets and different things of that nature. You know what I mean? So you hit that link, support a child, man, as you would want somebody to support yours. For sure, All right? for sure. So with that Make sure y'all said, check out diwhfashiondit.com. Uh, Go yes, grab sir. you some gear. You yes, feel sir. me? Make sure you support the BRL podcast. Yes, sir. Go grab your hoodie real quick. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? Support the channel. Yes, uh, sir. You can even go grab you one of these out of there. You feel me? Yes, the sir. BRLs, you feel me? Yes, sir. Uh, other than oh. that, oh, man, what you got? Man, I ain't got nothing but love for anybody yeah. that come through here, man. That's what I got. I got nothing but love for you, baby. That's you dick. But with that being said, man, y'all stay on top, man. Stay focused, but stay dangerous. You know, do what y'all do, man. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody tell you you can't do. And don't be afraid to do some shit that you already got burning in your soul because somebody else done did it too. You know what I mean? It's enough room for everybody. The last thing you don't want to do, you don't, you, you, you don't want to do this is be a lame to your fucking own lane. You heard what I said? Be a lame to your own lane. So with that being said, man, you know what I mean? We love y'all, man. We thank y'all for y'all support continuously. You know what I mean? We do this for y'all. We look forward to these days. So with next show Friday, we see y'all, man. All right? Salute. Love yeah. is love. And no Ladies and gents, minus and adults, we here to bring to you the BRL, where we break records live every Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, 7 o'clock Central Time. 8 o'clock Eastern Time. You think you got talent? You think you got talent? We'll bring it over to the BRL where we break records live. We don't care if you sing, you rap, or you dance. I want to give you the opportunity to tell anybody that never gave you a chance now, this. That you gotta watch That's right. Me, huh? Watch as the host from both ends of the East Coast. Miami Zone. Rich off D I double H. And co-host that Philly boy. Everybody did ghost. Oh, now. 
as they bring to the world six acts per show and two special guests brought to you by this is hip hop up rise and films ot famous sandwiches and platters you ain't and the direct only one connect that got away. i see you This episode was sponsored by ThisIsHipHop.com.